But this man right here, this is Leo Weidenthal. And I don't know how many of you remember the Jewish Independent uh, newspaper we had here in Cleveland. Uh, Leo Weidenthal was editor of the Jewish Independent. But let's go way, way back. Leo Weidenthal was born in 1878. Why do I mention Leo Weidenthal? Because the Cleveland Cultural Gardens and Leo Weidenthal are absolutely synonymous. If it, well, it would have happened, I assume, but he did tremendous, tremendous amount for not just the Hebrew Cultural Garden, but the whole Cultural Garden concept uh, here in Cleveland. Leo Weidenthal was a bachelor. He was a newspaper writer. He worked for the Cleveland Press and the Cleveland News. And his brothers were also involved in the newspaper business. And they had started the Jewish Independent. And he uh, joined them and became an editor. But more than that, he was a mover and a shaker in Cleveland. Now let's try to imagine what Cleveland was like about 1910, 1912. One of the fascinating things in Cleveland was the Rockefeller Park. Rockefeller Park was planned as a park that ran from the Shaker Lakes all the way down the hill and up to Gordon Park and Lake Erie. And it follows the Doan Creek, the Doan Brook. And the Rockefeller family donated that to the city of Cleveland together with the Wade family donated part of it, the Ambler family. There were a number of families that donated uh, various areas along the Doan Creek as a park, a public park. And they also built a road parkway there. And Leo Weidenthal, his real passion was William Shakespeare. He shared a birthday with William Shakespeare. They, were, they had the same birthday, and for some reason he had this mad passion about William Shakespeare. And he went ahead, talked to the city fathers in Cleveland, talked them into taking a part of this park and building a Shakespeare garden in 1916. And the Shakespeare garden was built on the upper boulevard. Now, you have the lower boulevard. Most of us know the lower boulevard today. It's known as <coughs> MLK, Martin Luther King Drive. But I wonder how many of us remember the upper drive, known as East Boulevard. And on the upper drive there, uh, the city gave him a piece of property, and he got some other people involved. And by 1916, they dedicated the Shakespeare Garden. This was his passion. He helped develop the garden with something he really liked. Now, Leo Weidenthal was at least a second generation Clevelander. His family, although they came from the Czech Republic, I don't know if it was Czechoslovakia at the time, was somewhere north of Prague near the uh, German border, but they were considered among the ethnic people in Cleveland as one of the German Jews. And as you may know, it was the German Jews who first settled Cleveland. Oh, 